Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. One of the things that Apple takes very seriously is accessibility, and that's in all of its devices, but none more so than the iPad and iPhone. There are literally tons of accessibility features built into iOS 9 that make a huge difference to many millions of people each day. But in fact, we can all benefit from many of the accessibility features. And in this tip video, I'm going to demonstrate with the built-in Zoom feature in iOS 9. Zoom is great because it's system wide, so it can be on anything that you're looking at on the iPad or on the iPhone as well. It works uh, just as well on the iPhone. I've already switched it on in settings uh, and I'll show you how to do that shortly, but let me just give you a very quick demo of uh, some of the advantages of using Zoom. If I double tap using three fingers on the screen, we go into this window Zoom and, and I can actually grab this window and move it around the screen. I can't really see anything at the moment. I'm only seeing the background. If I just tap on the small symbol at the bottom of the window, I can actually drag that to uh, see what I want to see. Nicely magnified. Uh, this is a relatively small window though. What I can do is bring up a pop-up menu by tapping on the small control at the bottom. So I can zoom out to get rid of the window. I can go into a full screen zoom, um, but the window is relatively small at the moment. So what I might want to do is to resize the lens. So if I resize the lens, I can actually drag this and make the lens a lot bigger. Tap it once to remove those uh, handles. Tap the control again at the bottom. Uh, I can choose a filter. So if I want an inverted filter, or if I wanted to have a low light filter, I can do that. Let's go back, say choose filter, and we'll say none. Now I have this zoom control down at the bottom, so I can actually zoom in and out, change the magnification. And then I've got the full screen zoom as well. So if I go to full screen zoom, my entire screen is now zoomed out. But we'll go back to window zoom. There is an option to show a controller if I select that. You'll see down at the bottom, if I just tap away, uh, in fact, let's tap away completely. I'll do uh, double tap with three fingers. That window goes, but I've got this controller down here at the bottom, which I can move around the screen. I can double tap that now, and that will pop the window up for me. Tap it once, I get the pop-up menu. Let's hide the controller, and let's zoom out. Now to set up Zoom, if you go into Settings, go into General Accessibility, and then we have the option here for Zoom. Currently switched on, but I've got some other controls down the bottom. So Follow Focus, uh, Smart Typing, so that when a keyboard appears, um, you will actually have a full-size keyboard and just a window of the text entry panel. Uh, we've got the option to switch the controller on from here as well, and then the option to change the Zoom region and set a default filter as well. And then we've got a maximum Zoom level down at the bottom. Now, Zoom is just one of many hundreds of useful features hidden away on your iPad or iPhone. There are over 700 full-length video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. And all members receive a new full Apple-related video tutorial every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. So go ahead and get your own 14-day free trial membership over at screencastonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV.